<coughs> we have a MacBook Pro. It says it's board level. So usually when um, from uh, this company's description, usually when they say it's board level, it means it's a low power device. So um, it already says here that it's M1, it's a MacBook Pro. And um, so when you see the FM key, that should also reinforce um, that it's not an Intel device, but an M1. Hmm. No trackpad feedback. Okay, so because we don't know exactly what's happening, we are not going to uh, blow power to it. The best thing we're going to do is uh, flip the back over out, see what's happening inside. Okay, um, by the way, the, uh, okay, it's a bit, uh, let me see, yeah, this looks, looks clean, doesn't seem like, uh, eh, doesn't seem like a liquid damage device, at least on this side of the board. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that. So the first thing we're going to do is to disconnect the battery. So, and then another thing I want to mention is that uh, sometimes when you, uh, you, you're probably not on, you're not aware that when you disconnect, the more this, because usually this is focused on, but then somehow this moves, the one on the other side it moves. And then what happens is after the device, uh, you finish working on the device, it doesn't charge. And then, uh, that is something that when you are assembling the device, just be sure that the other side is properly connected. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to do is, uh, although with the, with the M series, uh, especially the, the M1s, um, uh, especially the, the M1 MacBook Pro, or short on PB bus, it's, it's very rare, unless in, in, a, in, a, in a situation of, say, the device is liquid damage. But like a like a common short, it's PB bus is not something that you will find on on M1. Um, what you the common shorts that you will find on M1s are going to be this. Uh, so the the board number is going to be eight two zero dash zero twenty twenty. Uh, uh, this guy. So that is the board. That's the the, the board view. Now the short that you'll be expecting on an M1 is going to be from here. The, uh, 3P3, um, PP3 V3 underscore AON, expecting to have a short on that line. Now, another short uh, expected on, on, on it will be here, on this line here, expecting to have a short on that line. Um, and uh, sometimes you also will get a short on this line. This is horrible line to have a short because the, the points where it's connected to, it's crazy. Uh, let me see if I can get a number for you guys. Uh, Let's see, do we have a number? Okay, see where it says 89 parts selected. That's the point where <laughs> that's basically, wait, that's basically how much you are looking at in terms of where you need to, to look at or to, to, to look for or short in. Wait, I'm just, I just hope that is correct. 89 parts. Okay, let's just confirm something. So let's see, let's see this one here that has a very, uh, yeah, very few. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it is, it is. So eight parts. So if we are to count, let's just see if we can make sense of it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What about the other side? Uh, how many on the other side? No, actually. It, it, only component so it's one two three four on this side and the the the, tr the tp the track points are not added okay how many did we count there five six seven eight okay components only that's why it says eight parts okay yeah so you see um 
with this one is easy, but with, when you have a short here, ah, 89. Now you have to look through 89 parts to, to, to find which which is, uh, yeah. But anyway, that's uh, something that, um, uh, something to be aware of. And also the in terms of uh, the, the M1, the MacBook Pro M1 follows a, a similar measurement pattern, pattern with, the, uh, with the MacBook Air. So if you get 12.0 point, uh, 12 point zero point something, then that tells you that you have a 20 volt on your PBTC in. If you get 12.33 or 32 or higher than that, then you most likely have a 5 volt on your PBTC in. So, um, so we say, nah, I, I, okay, then now, now there's something. This board that we have is actually an M2, not an M1. Uh, let's see. Did you, did you pick it up as an M1? Did it say M1? No, did, did the serial number show you that is an M1? The model number? How then do you get to your, how then do you confirm? How then do you? No, because I normally do put up the serial number, but I was it was out of stock, so I just put it there. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But I know a lot of times the serial number is put there because it's usually the back. Okay. Let's quickly check something. Serial check. What's the that what's the website name? Again? Every Mac. Uh every Mac dot com. Let's we have it here. Okay, let's do this. Uh we don't uh AJ W. Uh, what is this? Uh, 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 Hmm. Oh, for some reason, this is ten. Let's see something. Okay. So okay. Anyway, um, the board that we have here. <clears throat> so I was uh, I was talking about um, um, how um, 
these are the points that uh, the, the, the common points to check if it was an M1, but uh, this is not an M1 board, this is an M2 board. Um, but there's something I'm going to confirm. So if this was if this was an M1, also a common uh, failure to look out for it would be UC, UC300. You have a short on the on the 5 volt line. That's also a common failure. But then when when that fails, uh, when that fails, if you have a short on that line, the device itself uh, you might have a problem with the device starting. However, if that rail itself is not present, but it's not a short, which is not it's not going to prevent the device from starting. The device will power on, but you will not have backlight on the switch. You understand? Um, um, yeah. You know, if this is so, some another another common issue with the M ones is uh, uh, you have a short on this line, which is which is uh, uh, the P five E S two on us uh, uh, S two rail. Now I'm saying that if that rail is not present, you will not have a backlight. That is, if the device powers on. But in that case, it will not be due to a short. It will not be that there's a short here. It will just be that you have an issue here and the voltage is not being generated. Do you understand? Because if it's shorted, if you have a short, it will prevent the device itself from, from starting. Okay, so um, I'm just going to get an M1 board and show you some of the difference that you want to look out for. Okay, so... This is an M1. This is an M2 board. Uh, if you if you look at them, so two th without having to take the board out, first of all, if you look at the heatsink, you have a difference. See how it's shaped, the, the heatsink, and look at that of M1. You see anything? If you look closely, you see that yes, there is a difference. That is different from that. Huh? This was different than that one. Yeah, but if when when you look at it. It's not the same. You see, the edges on this ones are more flat. For example, this is round. Yeah. Mm? yeah. So this is a little bit more pronounced in a way, and and this seem very this seem very flat. So that that's 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 number one. Now number two, number two also it's the 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 board number. Obviously, it's also going to be different. So, board number for, for an M1 is going to be 80-02020. Now, for M2, so if you check the board number here, check what is the board number there. What is the board number? It's 820, um, 02, I mean 0, um, yeah, 02. 02. No, 80-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
so eighteen fifty eight. So let's go to MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro. Let's just go all the way through. Uh, M two. Uh, so that is M one and M two thirteen inches. Same model number. Can you see that? Same one. It's interesting because the same model number. Then it it, it will really confuse people. Say it has the same same model number. In the same size. Yeah, everything is the same. Actually, you can also swap the screens. By the way, you can swap the screens because we've we've swapped the screens across and then they work just fine. Uh, okay, so that's twenty. So that's twenty twenty and uh, twenty. M2 is 2022. You're picking up the year difference, correct? The M1 is 2020 and the M2 is 2022. Hmm. Okay, so um, yeah, and, and you see, I suppose you wrote M1 also because of the, the model number. Okay, so yeah, so this is an M2 and uh, it's coming in for so yeah, so. Um, in terms of uh, similarities of what is common in failure, it follows the same. Uh, it follows this, uh, uh, also the, the M1. Check for a short on 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 the on the five volt line. Check for a short on the three point three volt line. Uh, and then yeah, also uh, and then the other size that we mentioned on the board. So let's quickly go over this and uh, see what is it that we are uh, just for just to follow the process. But um, we not we are not hoping that we'll have a short on the pin bus, But you never know. And by the way, um, the, the board number for them too is, is different. So what is the board number called? Let's actually open up the board number. What is the board number for the M2? Give me the, mid, the middle only. Do we have that open? Okay. If you don't have the board, uh, the board view for M1, you can also, uh, M2, you can use the M1, not a problem. Uh, so you say it's zero, the zero, middle? Seven, seven. seven, seven, three. Okay, there you go. See your um, your five volt line. That's your five volt line. Let's see, does it does it follow the screen here? It's okay. Yeah, it's not to worry about it for now. Okay, so that's uh, that is uh, the the M two. Uh, let's quickly check out uh, what is it that we have on PP bus. We don't have a short there. Do we have a short here? No, we don't have a short. It's in here. Whoa. <laughs> That's a short. What is that? What line is that? Um, we have a short where? On the PP3V3 S3. Uh, P3V3 S2. Okay. As a... As a... The 3.3 volt line, okay. How many points is that? 20, 20, okay. It's not so bad. Uh, I hope it has nothing to do with... Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, we have a current sensor resistor, which would then... Uh, I hope we... Okay, I hope it has nothing to do with the Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth IC. Okay, so we have a short on this line. Uh, we have a short on that line. Uh, now, this is an inductor. We will have creation side will be the side. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, so this is uh, this is where we, we measured that we this is where we measured and we found that we have a short. So where is where do you think is the creation side? Where is the creation side? Where is the creation side? Where is it being generated? Creation side is going to be pin one. This is the distribution side. Yeah, do you understand? I don't know if it makes sense. 
because if you if you the way the way you'll understand that it's this how many how many pin how many connection do you have on pin one just one, one. because that's where it's coming from now where it's feeding is obviously going to be more all right so it's that that line is being created from here by uc 710 let's see do we have a let's see if we have a board view for that uh you say it's a 073 correct 073 I, I really wonder what happens to I really have to, to take my time to really find out what happens to my schematics because I, I struggle to find my schematics. Anyway, okay, so um, I wanted to show you guys creation stuff, but I, is it is understood, correct? Yes. Okay. So it's like feeding from the end, it's distributing. Yeah. yeah. So this is a chip that basic that does the generation. You see, you you see seven ten. So if I want to find out where the short is, if the short is coming from this side or from this side, I remove the inductor. Whenever I say L, it stands for inductor, yeah. and inductor behaves like a, it's it's basic in terms of it's like a straight wire. Whatever you have on pin one is going to be equal to pin two. So if I remove this, then I will have two separate bands. Correct. Yes. One part will be tied to UC710, the other part will now be tied to every other part on the other side. So now I will now ask, then I can ask myself, is the short on this side or that side? But with this, with the inductor on the line, I will not be able to tell if the short is on this side or on that side because it, it's as it is now, you just have a straight line. Does it make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Try to understand. Hmm? Okay. So we are just going to go quickly take the board out to get to understand uh, what's happening and uh, where. Oh. Yeah, there is no separation. Whatever you have on pin one will be equal to pin two. So if you have a short on pin one, it will reflect on pin two. If you have a short on pin two, it will reflect on pin one. However, when the component is removed, now you have an empty space in between, and then you can confirm where the short is. Is the empty space in pin one equal to pin two? No. Why is it right now? Now. When you take it off. This component here, it's like a wire. This L inductor is like a wire. Right now, what it's doing is it's connecting two points, which is one and two. When you remove it, the two points are still there, but you now have. You understand? Okay, so I guess over time you will uh, understand. Or maybe you probably buy. Shahid some chapatis and he will explain to you. Okay. Um, did you take back your 3.5? No. You took it back? Yeah, can you please can you? No, it's here. 3.5? Um, okay, let me check. But is it a 3.5 or 3.0? 3.0.
So now that we now that we know we have a short on that line, so the next thing we're just going to do now is just to go find out which component, correct, that is creating what the short, correct. Once you find the component, you address it, and then your repair is what the repair is done. Sometimes you might have multiple shorts. <laughs> you address one and then you find another one, but it's uh, it's not it's not it's not a common thing. But in cases of uh, liquid damage, yeah, then you should uh, expect when you have multiple corroded components, then that's also something expected. Oh yeah, there's another screw here. I missed that. Okay. Oh, this out of the shell. Ah, um, um, okay, so um, all of the points that we mentioned, uh, this show that you have is completely outside of everything that we'd mentioned. So this is, uh, so yeah, so I'm saying that we could remove uh, the inductor just to confirm if the short is on this side or on the other or the, either the creation side or the supply side, but I doubt it's on the creation side. Why? Because the component doesn't look funny or out of place. So, so yeah. Um, see the other side. Oh yeah, I think you can easily see the problem. Can anybody spot the problem? I'm just gonna show you. So let me, let me show you, let me show you this. So if I click on this, if I click on that, hmm? on the other side, look at, on the other side, look at this region. This is your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip, correct? Now, there is a coin sensing resistor of that same rail, pp 3 v 3 underscore, uh, uh, pp 3 v 3 underscore S2. You have a coin sensing resistor, which is then going to be equal to whatever is on that side, correct? Yes. Now, if you look around that chip, what do you see around that side? that is connected to the line and what do you see here that is the problem first of all where is that chip point uh, show me the chip that chip show me on this board where is the chip this one here okay now around it um, what components are around it and wh which do you think is the problem what component uh, do you think it's the problem? Do you see anything that looks out of place? Which one? Look again. Point it to me. Let me be sure which one you're pointing to. Show me. To, show it to me on the board. So is that that? Shahid and you? Which is? CL014 or CL043 or CL062, CL0... Don't tell me you think. You, you have it in front of you. You don't use languages like you think. You think when you don't know, when you don't see. You have, you can see view the board and the board view. What are you thinking in, in between? CL? And you? Which one is it? CL? Okay. I don't know what type of eyes you have. Oh, actually, CL 034. This is, is this not the component you're referring to? This one? Yes. I so mean, how is this one, this one? How? Maybe I just want to make sure there's something. 
No, the problem is this one, not this one. But how do you see it? I'm, I'm very much there. Yeah, but he's seen something else. I don't know. I think, Shahid, you have to buy him coffee. Because I was saying, Shahid, he needs to explain to you. Because now, now I was thinking that you need, to, you, need to, you need to explain. So the problem is this guy here, this one. Not anything beside it. This is the guy. This one. That's the guy. Hmm? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a tweezer uh, to remove just like that. Hmm? And we're not going to put it back. You don't know. And also here, you don't want to heat that chip up because that chip has underfills and it might in my uh, and uh, it's a BGA chip. It might mess with the balls underneath, and then you might have a uh, you might have a short or chip not performing the way it should. Okay, so now that 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 is out, uh, I know Shahid is praying that is, we should still have a short so that it will be that what he said is true. But sorry, Shahid, <laughs> this time there is no short, bra. Because it was so obvious that that's that is the component. <laughs> But for you to point out, I, I mean, I don't know. It was so obvious. And uh, first time, I don't know. You also, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I was looking at the one clearly looked like off. That's why. I so, mean, but the problem was Shai. Shai told you to say. No. Oh, so how did I he influence you? I did he copy me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. And then. <laughs> He followed your own. <laughs> yeah, I see. So, and then another thing you want to also see that you see that often, oftentimes corrosion will um, you 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 will get a the, the corrosion will be more on the pin that has voltage. Do you understand? So usually, if this component is to corrode, so that the, the, the voltage will attract more of it, which is you wouldn't really find ground corroded because there's nothing happening there. That's zero volt. But you find the, the, the main pin. OK, so wouldn't you like to get a, a, a board repair like this one, where you just narrow it down like, that's my problem. Be right? nice what? <laughs> But did you see how we arrived at the problem? Because if you, if, now, this is it. This is the tricky part of it now. Yes, it, it's easy. But if you didn't know what is a short, how to identify what is a short, how to narrow it down, would you? Yeah, to come to the conclusion, it took you years. Yeah, so you well, wouldn't, then, exactly. Because, for example, this machine now is coming from another repair company, right? So. So if, if it was, if it was, um, if the owner of the machine is to see you do this, be like, ah, so it's something simple, so for that it should be cheap, my friend. The, the price, the price of it is still the same. It's regardless of if you think it's easy or difficult, because I'm not going to, are you going to call the client back and say, oh, sorry, actually that job of yours that I quoted you X amount of money for, it's taking me longer for that reason. I'm gonna change the price now. So, so who trained you? Oh, <laughs> who trained me? Sure, one person don't train one person. Now many many teachers you have. First you have to go to school, and then after that, because in schools there are many things that you will not be taught. But uh, when you're out, when you 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 go to Repair guys like this, just as I'm doing to you guys now. Yeah, so because in school, what you will have, it's, it's a little bit different from what, what you have here. But then you need that to kind of, I don't know. I can understand. No, even the theory itself is which school would teach you PP3V42 on Apple devices? It will teach you general stuff. 
Do you understand? You now have to pick depending on where you choose to go. Do you understand? So there is no Apple school kind of like, oh, Apple school go uh, for spend four years Apple schooling. Um, yeah, so but that's something that you have to figure out after your school. Um, and then you go to workshops. I did uh, the first workshop that I went for was a, was actually a cell phone workshop. That was in 2000 and 2008, I think so. 2008, 2008, 2009. I'm so not in 2006. No, but the first workshop. The first. Yeah, the first workshop that I went to. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what year it is, but it's 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 been a it's been a, a long time. Yeah. Okay, so we're only going to connect the cables that we need, uh, and I said we're not going to put that back. So we're not going to put that back. And then another thing is, um, see, one most the very the very important thing in, in, in this, it's one thing is you have to put in your effort, but another thing is dua. You really need to ask Allah to make it easy for you. I tell you, <laughs> you will have many like students like yourself. You went to the same school and everything, but it's not the same. It, it's, just, it's just not the same. It's just the understanding will vary from person to person. So yeah, so this was... Um, uh, do you know why the fan is spinning so loud? It was. No. I mean, it was a new model. No. The eye. Oh, yeah, the eye is ready. No. In this case, it's not the case. Look again. Just look. Because of the battery. Oh, it's the battery. Yeah. So if you connect the battery, in this case, not the eye board. In this case, it is. The battery not being connected. Um, I don't know. I didn't mention that to you guys. No, I only mentioned we, when we were dealing with the M, with the MacBook Air M1. Yeah. And and then after school you'd have many teachers. One of my favorite teachers is Lewis. It's just it's just too he's good. Guy yeah, he's just too good. He's just too good. They won't be able to afford him. No, no, no. They will be able to afford him, but he will be very limited. Like they, they will dictate, tell him what to do, how to do, and he is not the guy who wants to be told what to do, how to do. Okay, so um, now we have the battery connected. Uh, so let's see what we have. What happens now? So the device is powered on. Fan is fine. You understand? So I think when we were talking about the fan, we only uh, we, were, we were dealing with the uh, A fourteen sixty six. So I, I only mentioned now with that one with the A fourteen sixty six, the the architecture is slightly different. So with A fourteen sixty six, even without the battery being connected, it's going to work fine. Not the same with A nineteen thirty two, the newer version of the M one uh, of 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 the of the MacBook Airs, which is uh, the Intel version with the battery. As a matter of fact, sometimes when you have a faulty battery on the, on, on, on the Intel, uh, uh, um, uh, the Intel S, the Retina ones, the machine would sometimes you just have the machine just stuck on Apple logo, just like that. And then you probably think you have a serious problem and you just, it's just a battery. The battery that you replace for the tech shop, yeah, the machine actually came because they thought, oh, I mean, the device doesn't start, so why is that? Uh, it's only a battery. See, yeah, now you see that battery is connected and the fan is on. It's fine. So now, <clears throat> fan is only, the fan is, is going to come on when it's what? When it's requested. I mean, when the device needs it. So um, that's all that this is uh, required. We are not going to put back a CL043. Why? Because um, this uh, the same, the, there are companies that are doing exactly what that is doing. So on that line, you have CL002, CL05. I'm talking about of the same sizes, you know, CL033. I'm, I'm not even worried about the smaller companies. And another thing also I want to say is, you see, just also just beside it, you also have CL012. So 
you're not putting it back is we are it's 100 jais we don't have to put it back then what else uh, uh if we look at how we arrived at that and that was because of we found that true uh that communication was made through rod 710 if this was not on the board then what would happen is that section of the board will be separated from this section of from this section of what from that section of the board uh so rod 710 was uh uh, RD 710 is it's basically uh, the communication between the LC 710 and, uh, and, and and I mean imagine where the issue is but this is where uh, we, we, we checked and then we finish it now so what you'll understand is everywhere that that is represented it will have a, a short in it that's about it do you have any questions before we finish with? Sometimes we don't like yeah yeah and also sometimes uh, it's safer not to do it yeah because because of the location of uh, because of the location so you don't want to yeah you don't and, and it's it's completely unnecessary completely unnecessary so you don't want to kill a device which was working because you choose to I don't know anyway that's about it thank you guys I will see you guys in the